Scribes Creative Workshop presents... Happy Land! Featuring Pappy Druid and his pals! Did you ever want to paint? Did you ever want to draw? Did you ever want to recreate anything at all? Well, now you can in Happy Land. That's where we are today. Where anything can happen. Cause Happy Druid that way. Happy, Happy Druid. We do Happy Land. And you. Hello, hello, hello. It's another beautiful day in Pappy Land. A great day for singing, drawing, and coloring. And of course, one of my greatest pleasures is saying hi to all my Pappy Land friends. Hello, hi, Lily. Pappy. Hi. <laughs> How's that? Mm, refreshing as usual, Pappy. Good. How's that, Bink? Thanks for the new do, Pap. <laughs> You're welcome, Bink. You might call it a brush cut. <laughs> How's that, Grandpappy? Good job, Sonny. I feel clean as a whistle. Hey, Sonny! Pay attention! Don't you know what time it is? What? I sure do, Elmer. It's blue after two, and time to welcome everyone to Pappy Land. Hi, Cassandra and Emerald and Felicia, and Kendra, and you too, Caitlin, and Swathy, and Taylor. And of course, I see all the rest of you out there. Thanks for joining us on our program today. You're welcome, Sonny. I did have a lot of things to do today, but I decided to be a nice guy and come here to help you out. That's nice of you, Elmer. Uh, hmm. Let's say we check the radio and see what's happening today. <laughs> This just in. Today at Crayon Canyon, a beautiful rainbow has appeared. Artists from all over Pappy Land are coming to the canyon to draw and paint their version of the rainbow. Hey, this sounds like a great artistic opportunity. I think my next stop should be Crayon Canyon. Want to come along, boys and girls? You do? Now, how should we get there? Uh, let's see. There's the Pappy Scope, the Pappy Pad Express, the Wishing Wheel, and much more door. Hmm, which will it be? The Pappy Pet Express. Excellent. Do you remember how this works? Okay, let's turn it on. And count backwards like this. Five, four, three, two, one, and here I go. <laughs> Wow, what a trip. <laughs> and what a rainbow. It's beautiful. Well, here we are in Cran Canyon. Let's go check out my friends. Uh, Buddy, Chucky, Louie, I'll be right down. Hmm, I think I'll put some bright purple here. Oh, and chocolate brown. And oh, I just love the color lime green. And oh, and then there's the color of honey. Ooh. Hey, Chucky. Look at the painting of the rainbow that Buddy Bear is doing. It looks different. Yeah, Turtle. Our paintings look very much alike. But Buddy's doesn't look the same. I don't think it's very good. Hey, I heard that. What are you talking about? I'm having fun. What's wrong with my picture? I'm using all the colors I want to. Yeah, sure, Buddy. <laughs> it looks terrific. <laughs> Yeah, I especially like all the colors you're using. You know, all the ones that aren't even in the rainbow. Oh, <laughs> you're not being very nice. <laughs> Gee, maybe I'm not such a good artist. I'll just take my drawing so you won't have to see it. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Hi, Lou. Hi, Chucky. Hi, buddy. What's, uh, what's wrong? I'm what's wrong, Pappy. My painting just doesn't look as good as the others. 
Come on, buddy. There's no good or bad when it comes to artwork. It's all in how we feel and how we express ourselves at the time. Well, Turtle Lou and Chucky laughed at my painting of a rainbow. They laughed? Hmm. Let me see your painting, buddy. Okay, but don't laugh. Hmm. Well, it is different, buddy. See, I told you so. Wait a minute, buddy. That doesn't mean it's a bad painting. A being different is good. In fact, I love your version of a rainbow. You do? Absolutely. I can tell you had fun when you were painting this, and you really used any color you felt like using. Am I right? Yes, I was <laughs> having so much fun. And then Turtle Lou and Chucky started laughing at me. <laughs> OK, buddy, let's go over and talk with them. I don't know, Chucky. Are you sure your painting looks exactly like that rainbow? I'm not happy with mine. I know, Turtle Lou. No matter how hard I try, I can't get my painting to look just exactly like the rainbow. I guess I'll never be a good artist. Uh, me neither. Whoa, fellas. I think we have some confusion here. What are you trying to do? We're trying to paint the rainbow just right, Pappy, so it looks exactly like it. Are you two having fun? No! no. This, this is hard, hard work. <laughs> you two don't understand the whole idea of being an artist. It's to paint or draw what you feel like doing and have fun at the same time. Uh, it can even look totally different than what you're looking at. It can? <laughs> of course. For example, look at this great painting Buddy Bear did of the rainbow. He used all different colors that he liked and had lots of fun doing it. You mean that you like his painting? <laughs> yes, I do. And I like your paintings too, guys, even if it was hard work. But you know, I think you'd have a lot more fun if you painted together and didn't make anyone feel left out. Let me show you. I wonder what Pappy's going to draw. Yeah. Ooh, I'm curious. I bet he could do a real good rainbow. The best. In fact, I have a drawing I'd like to do with you and the children to show you what I mean. This is a special drawing of two dolphins that know how to play together. So, kids, if you have your paper, pencil, or markers ready, that's great. And if you just want to watch, that's fine, too. Okay. Let's draw two dolphins swimming together and playing together. All right, I'm going to start by drawing a curved line right here. And that'll be the top part of the dolphin, OK? It's a curved line, just like that. Here we go. And bring it around and stop. All right, now I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring another curved line around like so and stop. Bring it around. Take your time nice and slow and stop. That's the top of the dolphin's back. See, one dolphin, two dolphins. Now, let's draw a fin right here. Like so. Good. And we're going to draw another one right here. Just like that. Good. Can you see it's starting to look like a dolphin now because we have the top of the fin here? All righty. Now, let's draw the tail on this other dolphin here by drawing a curved line. Loop it around and stop. And let's do the same thing on the other side here. Bring that around. And... Stop right there. Good. All right, now let's do the bottom of our dolphin by bringing this line right around and stop. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. There, we'll just bring that around and stop. All righty. Now let's do the dolphin's mouth. We'll bring this line around like that and do the same thing on the other side. There. 
You know, when you're drawing or coloring, your picture doesn't have to look like everybody else's to be good. I like it when you do your own style and you, and you utilize your own ideas. And that's what makes your drawing very unique and special. It's so much different than mine or anybody else's. That's right. Now I'm going to put a curve line right here, right at the end of the smile. There. Those are his little rounded cheeks. Okay, now let's put a fin on one of the dolphins right here and bring that line around and stop. And we'll do the same on the other side. Bring a line around. There. Starting to look pretty good. Now, I'd like to put the eyes on our dolphins. And that's merely a circle, which looks like the letter O. One there, one for the other dolphin, like so. Now let's put little dots for the inside of the eye, like so. Good. I like the way this is looking. And I'll bet you're using a lot of your own ideas. And when you use your own ideas, it would be fun to draw with some of your friends when you're coloring or drawing. Because when you're, you, when you're around all your friends, boys and girls, that means that you can talk about your ideas and compare each other's work and admire each other's work. And you can talk about new ideas for other drawings. Now, I'm drawing the water now, right here. It's just merely some curved lines to indicate some waves. And we're going to draw a couple more curved lines right here, just like that. And you can make your curved lines any way you'd like. Have fun with it. There we go. Now I'm going to draw some more curved lines right here, just to show some more waves. And one more curved line. There. It's important to think about other people's feelings when you play or do artwork together. You don't want to hurt your friends by making them feel left out. Gee, Pappy, those fish look so friendly. Well, buddy, these are dolphins. They're not fish at all. They're mammals like we are. Dolphins are one of the friendliest and smartest animals on Earth and they live together in families like we do. They do? Yep, and they do all kinds of things together. They play together and look for food together. In fact, if they could, I'd bet they'd paint together. They even have their own way of talking and singing to get together. Boys and girls, watch what I mean. Picture, show us how dolphins get together. Oy, oy, let's play! This is fun! <laughs> Come on, everybody! <laughs> that was neat! And hearing dolphins sing makes me want to sing, too! Can we, Pappy? Sure, Chucky. I'll sing a song. I'm right here, Pappy. Hey, that reminds me of something my uncle Giuseppe Canoli told me once. What's that, Turtle Lou? He said that if you want to sing with the dolphins, you need to know how to tune a fish. Get it? <laughs> tune a fish, tune a fish. <laughs> well, that's a good one. It sure is, Turtle Lou. Thanks for sharing that with us. OK, Sam, how about that song? Your 
impression is expression just for you. It's your version, your excursion, your point of view. It's your painting, it's my song. We're all unique, we all belong. Impression is expression just for you. Expression just for you. It's your version, your excursion, your point of view. It's your painting, it's my song. We're all unique, we all belong. And if you're true in all you do, the sun will come shining through. The sun will come shining through. The sun will come shining through What a glorious view Thanks a lot, Sam. That was great. You're welcome, Pappy. That was fun, Sam. Hey, Chucky and Louie, look at how beautiful the crayons are. What do you say we paint them and have fun together? Sounds great, Buddy Bear. A magnificent idea, Buddy Bear. By the way, I like your paintings of the rainbow. Well, wasn't that nice of Sam to say? Oh, yes, let's we get are painted nice. Let's oh, get yeah. crazy. <laughs> sure. Well, girls and boys, while my papyrific pals continue painting, let's go back to the cabin to color our drawing. Bye, fellas. See you Bye. later, Pappy. See you later. Have Ciao, a nice trip. Papi. Thanks. I just love the way that rainbow looks with those crayons. Here we go, boys and girls. Help me count backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Traveling like that sure loosens you up. Hey, Pat. Yes, Elmer? You know, your little adventure today reminded me of the time I got fired from the pretzel factory. Now, how could that be, Elmer? Because just like you, I was always trying to straighten things out. Get it? <laughs> how do you keep coming up with these great jokes? I guess I'm just a great sit-down comedian. <laughs> well, boys and girls, at, while Elmer's busy laughing at his own jokes, how about we sit down and color the picture we drew of the two dolphins? I get your crayons or your colored pencils, if you don't already have them, or just sit and watch and color your picture later. Alrighty, let's begin coloring our two dolphins. And I'm going to choose kind of a light blue. And I'll start right here on the dolphin's tail. And I think I have a neat idea. I'm going to color this dolphin blue, but I'm only going to color the top portion of the dolphin. Just this top portion here. I won't color the whole thing. There we go. Now we just blend that nice. And good. Now color the fin. And now the other fin. Very nice. And I'll do the same to the other dolphin. Take your time. Use another color. 
color for the other part of the dolphin. Perhaps he's going to mix two colors. There's the blue. Whoops. And one more. Good. Now I'm going to choose this kind of a golden yellow crayon. Start with this. Ooh, look at that. They go together very nicely. And we'll just color that like so. I like the colors you're choosing, Pappy. Thanks, Pink. They're just colors that I happen to like right now. If I color this picture at a different time, I might choose different colors. And of course, the important thing to remember is that you can choose any colors you want. Uh, just like Buddy Bear did uh, with the rainbow he painted. I'll bet the Hall of Frames has lots of examples of the children using the colors they like in their drawings. It sure does. And we'll get to visit the Hall of Frames later in the program. Now let's continue. There. Again, take your time. Don't be in a hurry. I want you to relax and enjoy yourself. There we go. Ooh. Now watch what happens when Pappy goes into the blue with the yellow. Ooh, do you see that? I'm blending yellow and blue. And I see green. That's right. Yellow and blue will give you green. There we go. Hmm. Fun to mix and match different colors. I'm sure that a lot of you shows all sorts of different colors. Let's see. I'm going to choose a nice color for the, for the water. And, you know, I think I'll go with green. Just to brighten up the water. It's a nice bright color for the water. Just a bright green. don't have to fill it all in all at once. You might want to color later on. You might want to just do as much as you can with Pappy. And when you're ready to finish it later, feel free to do that. Okay. Good. Now I'm going to continue. This is a very nice aqua green, it's called. It's a wonderful color to show water. And, and I'll just start coloring right here. Just to suggest the more little wavy waves in the water. And there we go. Very nice. Just about finished here. Just a couple more things there. Well, that looks very nice. All finished. Okay, let's see how your pictures look so far. Hey, very good. As some of you are finished, and some of you have made a very good start. I keep coloring or finish after the show. When you're all done, if you want, you can send your picture to me, Pappy Druitt, at the address at the end of the program. Remember to include your name, 
your address, and your age, and you might see it in the Hall of Frames. Do, do you hear that? It's our cue. It's time to visit the Hall of Frame. Wow! Traveling in Pappyland sure is fun. Now let's take a closer look at all these wonderful so big, doodle bugs. <laughs> Before you show off all the kids' great drawings, I want to show off my doodle for the day. I'm sure this is the one that's going to completely stump you. There. Are you saying you don't think I can make a picture out of that doodle doodle bug? Oh boy, you're never going to get this one. <laughs> never, never. Well, let's see what I can make out of hey, that. Hey, try your hand here. I see something already. Oh, let me just put a, a line right there. I'll just connect this like so. And we'll put a little line like that. This is the one. I know oh. I won't get it. There we go. I'm starting to see something now. Uh -oh. And it's making sense. Uh -oh. And what if he just puts in here like that? Ooh. I like the sound of that. There we go. And we'll just draw another one there. There, doodle bug. What? You made a monkey out of my doodle. Oh, boy. <laughs> and I thought this was going to be the doodle that would be in the Hall of as the one doodle that stumped Peppy. <laughs> Not this time, doodle bug. Besides, the Hall of Frames is only for the children's drawings. Yeah, I guess you're right, Peppy. Well, anyway, I'll see you soon with a doodle you can't do! <laughs> <laughs> so long, doodle bug. Okay, boys and girls, now let's look at some of the great drawings that have come in. That's the signal. Time to get back to the cabin. Don't you know what time it is? Yeah. Wow, it's quarter to orange already? Time for me to go. So until next time, remember, there's no limitation to your imagination. Bye now. Bye, Bye Peppy. Bye. Drawing to me, Pappy Drew It, P.O. Box 5004, Syracuse, New York, 13220.